Hey everybody, I just wanted to put a quick teaser video up. I'm going to be on business travel tomorrow, so I actually have the speed ups right now to make this happen, but uh, this is what is currently training in my, uh, researching in my academy. And um, long time coming, very long time coming. Uh, really excited to get this done. I've got... Uh, I've got the speed ups to make this happen right now, but again, I've got business travel tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to do it uh, proper justice. So what I've done is I have scheduled a, a live streaming event for 228, so last day of the month, uh, at 1 p.m. EST, which I believe is 6 p.m. or 1800 UTC. So figure out your your time zone math there to figure out where you're at but uh, really excited to bring this to you this will be my first live stream on my channel I'm really excited to get that ball rolling as well I want to make that a weekly thing that I can bring to you all and uh, give you feedback live fire and in real time uh, answer questions and go over events as they come up uh, it's what some of the, the larger content creators on YouTube are doing pretty much on a regular basis and I'd like to jump into that pool so I'm, I'm really here again this this channel's here to help you all out I, you know I could do this all by myself offline and everything but I, I enjoy helping people and helping people get to where they want to be and whatever they're doing and this is something I really enjoy so uh, I put a lot of time into it a lot of effort and I wanted to share that with you guys um, and and also help you get you know here eventually I know this is what everybody is wanting to get to um, in different levels of investment in the game from a time and a money perspective so um, just wanted to make this quick teaser video just to let you know that this is coming <laughs> and it's coming hard and fast and I cannot wait to uh, to bring this to you guys and uh, start speed rushing some some T5 elite samurai and then uh, I also want to get into a discussion with y'all about possibly changing over to either Rome or France. I'm not 100% yet. I'd like to do some testing when it comes to um, health versus defense. I think that that's a test that, especially at the high level in T5 and even really high research T4s, we haven't really done a whole lot of. I haven't seen any content out there for health versus defense. As far as tankiness goes, we all we all know the the back and forth between attack versus defense. Usually, defense does win that battle. Although, again, I'd like to do once Ronnie gets his T five. I think he's going to stick with uh, France for the the hospital capacity or the hospital speed up, which is solid choice uh, and and one I'm contemplating as well. Uh, and plus, it kind of fits the. The Nordic look I've got going on with the beard and everything, but uh, uh, you know, I I I think I would really miss if I didn't go Rome. I think I would really miss that march speed, and if I didn't go Japan, which is what I am now, I would really really miss that high level attack. Because I mean, if you look at it really quick, um, the attack for the T five samurai is pretty substantial um, I think it's 221 for uh, for either for either t5 uh, France or Rome infantry um, it's 232 is a pretty significant bump um, especially whenever you add in the percentage attack bonus that Japan gives you at 3% uh, and then also having max level attack research in the Academy as well it just stacks and stacks and stacks so I'd be interested before I change, if I do change, I'd be interested to see if um, having this high level of attack at the T5 level going against a T5 defensive unit would make a difference. Uh, I think some of the testing that's been done in the past may have been fairly skewed with uh, research differences, with alliance bonus uh, differences. A lot of those alliance bonuses, especially on the Kingdom I'm on, are starting to even out with a lot of the higher end, um, the higher end alliances. So everybody's starting to max out both levels of their attack and defense for their primary army composition. So infantry, cavalry, uh, and archers. 
Uh, most of them have that 10-10 all the way across the board. And then uh, there's quite a few folks that are starting to get into the 30 million territory in power. And that's when you start really uh, getting into having maxed out um, maxed out combined arms, maxed out, which took forever, by the way. And this is probably one of the most painful things I've ever done. <laughs> um, I don't want to say ever, <laughs> but it, it, you know, obviously the, the recency of this is definitely making it feel like ever. Um, combined arms and encampment giving you those attack uh, and health bonuses or defense bonuses at 25% each uh, definitely helps. And then medical court giving you the health bonus. Those are big, big, big um, researches uh, from a stat standpoint. So definitely, if you've got those, you're in the you're in the 30s, the mid 30s at that point. Uh, now I've maxed my my infantry ones. Obviously, next is going to be cavalry, uh, which shouldn't take too long. I've still got some leftover technology speed ups um, that I can use. And I mean, to be honest with you, these two weren't too bad, um, especially compared to this stuff. <laughs> this stuff was really bad. Uh, this stuff, and then obviously the, the combat tactics down to herbal medicine, those are really rough too. Um, these shouldn't take too long at all, maybe you know a few days um, to get the cavalry up, and then I'll start on the, the archers as well, so I can have uh, all three primary all three primary fighting armies, um, T5. Uh, definitely will have the infantry uh, groups up and running and ready for the next Ark of Osiris that we have. And I will, um, I'll probably record that uh, instead of live stream it. It's seeming like uh, there's a lot of live stream issues when doing Ark of Osiris. Um, I'm on an iPad uh, Pro on this, so it's not the worst in the world. I, don't, I think a lot of the folks that have been having issues are the ones that are do, using the emulators on PC. Uh, I've got this on an iPad Pro on an, you know, an iMac uh, 5K. So I don't think it's going to be that bad of a problem. I think if I drop once, we'll be in good shape, which I think is the norm. Everybody drops about one time in Ark of Osiris if they're lucky. So um, I may record the first one uh, after we do the T5 stuff. And then assuming all goes well, uh, the next one I'll do a, a live stream on it so y'all can see it in real time. Um, and we're already starting to develop our battle plans for for that, so it'll be fun. Um, but again, this was just meant to be a little quick teaser. Really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, I'm just under 40 million power. Um, just to go to the, the individual rankings, Ronnie's number two. Crazy. Um, just beat out Chris D., who um, was the second player on our server to get T5. And uh, he's also got a YouTube channel that you can go check him out on. Um, all these other players up at the top are, are well known on our kingdom for being top players. Uh, I just jumped into number six. And I'd imagine once I complete the T5 infantry training and start churning out some of these T5 infantry armies, um, I should jump into the number five spot relatively quickly. Uh, maybe even start pushing for that fourth and third spot myself. So um, that's one thing because I started I started on this uh, kingdom and I'll show I'll show you. So I started on this kingdom exactly three months ago. This kingdom is six or seven months old. So um, I've had to play catch up a bit and um, obviously you know how you know how you do that. Um, but one thing I'm behind on that is, it's harder to play catch up with is troop count. I mean, that's just, that's just three or four months of time. I did not have training troops. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. So I had to use twice as many, um, to get to the same level of troop count that some of these folks have, which I don't have. I just don't. Um, I've had to kind of make it work when it comes to Ark of Osiris and other stuff that we've got going on. Um, I, I just I haven't been able to double my troop speed um, population just from a, trying to invest my resources to get to T5. There's a lot of resources that go into to pounding through hundreds of thousands of troops, um, especially when you're trying to get them for all of the troops. 
so that you can have nice max full groups. Um, right now, I've got a pretty respectable count. And again, a lot of this has been driven by Ark of Osiris. I've pumped out, you know, 20, 40, 60, 100,000 troops uh, as I've ranked my commanders up, which is the other thing. I had three months of not getting legendary sculptures. I had three months of not getting epic sculptures. Um, so it was it was tough to start all this. So um, I'll go and wrap the video up here. Again, I just wanted to kind of make this a quick video on, um, on teasing a, a really, really awesome live stream event to uh, upgrade to T5, push that speed up uh, through to complete it. And I'm gonna start speeding up some T5 troops as well. So. Hope you all have a good one. I look forward to seeing you on the live stream and cheers. Have fun conquering your world. Take care.